Hello friends, my name is Alyssa and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. And I want to welcome you to our National Engineer Week celebration. At the Boston Children's Museum, we define engineering as using stuff to build stuff that does stuff. And today, I'm going to make a musical instrument. My friend Steve and I decided that it would be fun to form a band and make musical instruments out of cardboard boxes. Steve and I decided that I would make a shaker and it has to be made out of a cardboard box. So I guess the first thing I need to do is figure out what would be the best box for me to use. I gathered up a bunch of boxes here and I'm gonna see which one is best. Way too big. Still too big. Maybe. Aha! This is the winner. Now, to decide what to put inside to make a good shaking sound. Let's see what Steve is up to. My friend Alyssa is making a shaker out of a cardboard box. I want to make another instrument to go with her shaker. And I think a great place to start is to make a drum. So first, I've got to choose the right box to make my drum. Let's see, we got a uh, small. Too big. This one looks pretty good. Let's see. So to make this box into a drum, all I gotta do is turn it over. Get set in. Not too bad. Now that would didn't take me too much time, and I am interested in what other sounds a cardboard box can make. One thing I could try is to tear the cardboard. Plus, I want to tear the flaps off my off my box drum anyway, so I'm going to tear this cardboard to get a sense of what sound it makes. So, that was hard work, but I did notice when I tore my cardboard, it exposed this bumpy part inside the cardboard. I don't think I can tear cardboard to make music. Uh, it's too difficult to make like a rhythm, but I bet I can do something interesting with this exposed bumpy part of the cardboard. So, what I'm gonna do next I'm going to peel off this top paper layer of the cardboard so that I get a sort of washboard made out of that cardboard. So I think this is pretty good. I've peeled off the top layer, or just one layer of paper off this cardboard, and I've exposed this sort of bumpy part underneath. So I can kind of get like a washboard of like... I think that's pretty good. But I think uh, it'll be easier if I tape this onto something nice and solid, like my drum. So I'm just gonna take some tape, tape this flat on my drum, and then I've got a drum and I have this other percussion instrument, kind of like a washboard, that's attached to it. Let's see how Alyssa's tests are going. And now, back to Steve. Now, we've got a pretty good percussion instrument that she's working on, which is the shaker, and we've got the drum and the washboard that I'm working on. 
but we really need an instrument that can play musical notes. So I want to make a guitar using a cardboard box and rubber bands. I'm going to start, uh, I think, with just a medium-sized cardboard box. And rather than cut the flaps off, I'm just going to fold them in. Because I think they're going to hold, and that's going to make the cardboard box a little bit more, uh, a little more sturdy, because those rubber bands are going to be squeezing in on it. Now, I've got some different rubber bands. Let's see, I've got a big rubber band, one, and some smaller rubber bands. And so... I think I'm just going to stretch the rubber bands across the box like this, starting with the big one. Here we go. So I've got the start of the guitar, but what we really need to do is have it play notes. So let's try it. Hmm, doesn't sound too good. So what I'm going to do is try to tune the guitar. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to pull these rubber bands to make them a little bit tighter or looser. When I pull them tighter, the pitch goes up. When I make them looser, the pitch goes down. And I'm going to do that until I can get it nice and tuned and play the first few notes in the scale. All right, I tuned it as best I can. Let's give it a try. Great, can't wait to show Alyssa. And now back to Alyssa. I think I found a winner. I didn't really like the way these sounded by themselves in the box, but I do like the way they sounded just here in my hand. So I thought, well, I wonder if I cut them open and empty out the small little pieces inside. Maybe those would make a good sound. I like that. Now, since I didn't use these rubber bands, I guess I'll just use that to hold it closed. Stay tuned for next time when Alyssa and Steve try playing music together. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Just hit the red button.